So what's camping like for you so far? Um, I mean, new environment's always a fun experience trying to learn players and learn the new uh, offense and everything like that. Uh, it's just been an awesome, pleasant surprise. Just we have the city has been journey for a win for a long time and you know, some groups and then, uh, just trying to learn each other's habits here and there. And it's just been fun just seeing the development. Do you have any kind of timeline for yourself as far as how long it would take you to kind of settle in or where you thought you'd be five years into this journey? I always try to set the bar high for myself. Um, I didn't come in thinking I was going to be in the practice squad. I always came in thinking I was going to fight for a starting spot. Uh, so when I was able to come in after my second year and start, I told myself I'm going to always fight to be a starter. Hmm? Uh, Personal development, I've always tried to improve on all my weaknesses. Uh, number one weakness coming in the league was basketball player. He can't block, so I focus on that and rest is history from there. And always working on my that skin. The other day I saw you pull David aside. He was having a tough day. And what was your message to him? And, 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 and what are your impressions of him as you know, relatively young player? Yeah, David has unbelievable talent, one of the most athletic tight ends I've ever seen. Uh, can jump out of the gym. I haven't seen some basketball players that can jump the way he can. Uh, my message to him was just, there's going to be days that it's going to be a little bit of a grind. Just uh, try to really keep your stuff. focus and don't don't let that bring you down and slow you down. Man. Could you catch us up as to why you play basketball, pro basketball? Uh, well, I played basketball in college, so it, was, it wasn't my mindset that I can just hop into football and go from there. So. Did not play football in college? No, not one. Once that. Didn't even have football play in my college. So. <laughs> he didn't really attempt to talk to me. He knew I was a decent basketball player, and so he thought that my mindset to go to the NBA was set. It wasn't until I got tired of not being able to hit anyone that was like, no, to make, make the transition. So then, how, pick up the story, how did you get to the NFL? Um, it was after my fourth year overseas. Just wasn't feeling the non-contact in some sport. And uh, just started talking to my brother. He played for New England at the time, visited him. We had a long talk about whether or not I wanted to continue to do basketball or get a football shot. I told him I still wanted to try football. Um, I actually had a tryout straight out of college in Minnesota, so it was, I knew there was that possibility there. Um, so he just got me in contact with agents and training facilities and started training. And went my what sort of a reference point uh, has Antonio Gates been for you? Um, it's, it's been a huge reference point. I mean, you have a lot of ex basketball players turned tight ends, so my mindset was always if I'm going to hop into the NFL, tight end is my only shot of doing it. So seeing the success of Tony Gonzalez, Antonio Gates, Jimmy Graham, the, the big name guys, and how successful they've been, they gave me a it was a starting point that I, I can go out there and do How did you, guys, how did you, you know the best? Those are the guys you mentioned, but you know Gates at all? You know, I, I don't know. Yeah. 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 I've met Gates, uh, talked to him, him for a little bit, but nothing about basketball. Do you think you're still catching up to this sport? Or um, or not? I mean, six year, I'm still, every, every year is learning. It's still, uh, I didn't have the four years of college experience that a lot of guys have, so not being able to do all that, I thought I'm still, still catching up. I'm still young. How has your basketball background helped you uh, as a tight end? You made a big deal in your position. Drastically. I mean, techniques here and there, especially with the blocking technique, uh, spiking your feet and getting in front of the guy, taking charges, for example, is pretty much that's the pass block blocking part of it. So the technique part of it is the same. The route running, you know, you use your body as leverage to get to the passes and everything comes alive. David's kind of conversion to that spot too. So how, how much does your own personal experience and, and, and route to the NFL uh, help, I guess, help deliver that message to David when, you, when you're giving him those teachable coach-up type moments? Um, I mean, we haven't really referenced basketball much when we talk and trying to, when trying to be a father figure to me that much older than him. Uh, 
it's just been more trying to use the experiences I've seen on the football field and helping them develop in that sense. Sure. In terms of uh, taking charge, it's just it's kind of a window into the way you think. I'm going to guess that you've thought about uh, what it would be like to stand in the middle. LeBron James has a full head of steam, and uh, you're taking the charge. I mean, have you kind of thought that out, what that would be like? Um, playing basketball, I would have been more likely to take the charge, and now that I'm a football player, I might use my hands a little bit more, so it wouldn't be a charge, more of a blocking. Where do you consider your strengths now as a tight end at this stage? Yeah. Are you a receiver? Is that your strength? Or um, I feel like right. my main strength is a block. Get your HBO now if you don't have it. Are you, uh, game. you know, obviously going over to the team. But I also feel that I can go out and run routes and make plays. That's it. Do you feel you showed something last year as a receiver? How sweet is it going to be to get that? I felt I got more of an opportunity last year. I felt it was always part of my game. It's just whether or not the team needed me to utilize that part of my game. I've always been a team first type of guy, so if they need me to go out there and run block for 40, 50 plays, I'll do that. If they need me to go and run a fade, I'll do that as well. So it's, I feel like it's not, it's not the fact that I didn't have that part of my game, it's just what I'm not seeing. Have you seen any emphasis this year on using you in the red zone? I mean, the receiver core, especially on Josh, here isn't the tallest. You can imagine what you see. You can envision yourself as being an option down there. Um, like I said, it's, it's up to uh, Todd and whether or not he wants to utilize me in that. If he does, I'm going to make very few mistakes and I'm going to try to come down with the ball every single time if he wants to do that. Yeah. 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 You were talking about David that taught you that. Do you ever see him down? He struggles out there. I mean, any player, when you see that you're having a bad day, you start struggling. You, you see that on the face that they're you can start getting in their own head. And that's the biggest thing is trying to let the speakers play to affect you. So it's just in terms of the athleticism that you would obviously yeah, have with your college. background and the way you stay in the NFL, you, know, you would uh, so think that, hey, this, this guy's going to be able to get over the field and use that system. But he is Kirksey, uh, who's a pretty good coverage guy as a linebacker. How much does it negate a guy, no matter how uh, athletic you are as a former basketball player, for guys like Kirksey out there who uh, really has a knack uh, for staying with him? Is that kind of a factor in the whole thing? That sort of thing? Kirk, I think he's, he's pretty good, but in my mind, I'm always over. Uh, I feel, uh, no one on defense is six seven with my almost seven foot my arms. So I feel like quarterback if he throws it anywhere in my body, I'm coming down with it. But Kirk, he definitely did trick on the strength. I guess what, uh, yeah. the way you answered that then makes me think that uh, maybe you would uh, argue you're really just having to play so you get more opportunities you kept last year when nobody's really fully explored uh, how you can be as a uh, system. I'm a team first. I'm here to win first. That really involves me getting 10 targets a game. Yeah. 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 Well, how are your hands? Uh, how, uh, that makes some sense. How far have you come since you uh, got back into football uh, as a catcher and uh, what you're trying to do in the table now in terms of catching skills? Um, the biggest thing is just my understanding for the defense now. Uh, running around trying to get over the top of the so being able to use my body in a way that I haven't been able to before because of not understanding the whole concept of football. Where are you drafted? In the NBA. How are your hands in your, in your mind? I mean, is it something where you're, the, the ball's coming your way, you know you're catching it, or is it something you've really had to work Yeah, but you're on? an offensive lineman, you stand out a little. You're always going to be able to catch it. Yeah, I, I feel the ball's a ball, whether it's around or catching it. I'm trying to catch it. I feel like I can't catch it. That's real. I know you, you had to wait, wait patiently. We had another interview that was taped, and we really